Good morning children. Welcome to Narana Live Classes. Today, as a part of our assignment, dated 23-6-2020, we are going to discuss the key based on the poem on killing a tree, written by G. Patel. Before we get into the key, let us have a brief summary on the poem on killing a tree. This present poem has five stanzas written in free verse. The first two stanzas talks about how cannot we kill a tree. The next three stanzas tells us what to do to kill a tree. In the first stanza, the poet says that it takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of knife will do it because the tree has grown slowly and slowly consuming the earth, years of sunlight, air, water and out of his leprous hide sprouting leaves. He says that hack and chop won't do it. The bleeding bark will heal and new twigs will grow. If the tree is unchecked, it will expand to the former size. The next three stanzas it says that we have to kill a tree by first of all we have to rope the tree and we have to pull out the tree from the earth's cave and it should be exposed the strength of the tree to what? Air and sun and which has hidden, the roots which are hidden for many years should be shown, exposed. Then the matter of scorching, choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, weathering and then it is done. Now let us see the key based on this poem. We have five questions which we have to discuss. Question number one. Can a simple can a simple jab of knife can a simple jab of knife kill a tree? Why not? Why not? Let us see the answer. Let us see the answer. Simple jab. Simple jab of knife can certainly not Certain or not, kill a tree. Kill a tree. It can merely, it can merely injure it. It can merely injure it and cause it sap and cause. It's sad to ooze. Call it sad to ooze out, ooze out like blood. The real The real life of tree, the real life of tree comes from the comes from the roots that provide 
that provide its nourishment nourishment its nourishment and firmly hold it and firmly holds it now let us see can a simple jab of knife kill, kill a tree why not simple jab of knife can certainly not kill a tree it can merely injure it and cause its sap to ooze and out like a blood the real life of tree comes from the roots that provide its nourishment and firmly holds it now let us see the second question now let us see the second question question number 2 Question number two. In question number two, we see how has the tree grown to its full size. How has the tree? grown to its full size the tree has grown answer the tree has grown to its full size the tree has grown to its full size gradually gradually consuming the earth consuming the earth okay consuming the earth the second question how has the tree how has the tree grown to its full size the tree has grown to its full size gradually consuming the earth now let us see the third one question number 3 in the phrase in the phrase consuming the earth consuming the earth who consumes the earth and how who consumes the earth and how answer it is the tree it is the tree that consumes the earth that consumes the earth by drawing its nourishment by drawing its nourishment by drawing its nourishment from the soil from the soil through its roots now let us see in the phrase consuming the earth who consumes the earth and how it is the tree that consumes the earth by drawing its nourishment from the soil through its roots okay now let us see the fourth question let us see the fourth question
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट इज मेंट बाई इ सनलाइट वॉट इज मेंट बाय इयर्स ऑफ सनलाइट इयर्स ऑफ सनलाइट एयर एंड वॉटर एयर एंड वॉटर The answer a fourth question. It means the tree. It means the tree. It means the tree takes years. Takes years together to grow. Years together. Years together to grow up, to grow up fully, to grow up fully. In this course of time, in this course of time, in this course of time. it draws energy from sunlight it draws energy from sunlight does it from air and water so now let us see the fourth question what is meant by years of it means that tree takes years together to grow up fully in this course of time it draws energy from the sunlight air and the water now let us see the last question and the fifth question now let us see the last and fifth question how we are going to answer it okay in the fifth question what is the question question number 5 why has the tree why has the tree hide h i d e hide hide been called a lepros been called lepros Why the hide has been called leprous? Let us see the answer. The bark of the tree, the bark of the tree, the bark of the tree is uneven in texture. The bark of the tree is uneven in texture and color. and color okay color full stop leprosy also rocks the skin of the leper of the leper of its color and of its color and evenness now let us see the fifth question why has the tree's hide been called as leprous the bark of the tree is uneven in texture and color leprosy also rocks the skin of the leper of its color and evenness so that's why it is called as leprous hide so that's all for today children i hope you have learned these five questions i hope that everyone is has noted down
ओके थैंक यू हैव ए नाइस डे